My dear Redemptorist confreres, my dear Redemptoristine sisters, sisters associated with our Redemptorist charism and apostolate, my dear Redemptorist missionaries, lay missionaries, associates, collaborators, benefactors, and you, my dear sisters and brothers, devotees of our mother of perpetual help. I welcome you today to the final day, the ninth day of our novena in preparation for the feast of our mother of perpetual help. I speak to you from the sanctuary of our church of St. Alphonsus on the Via Merulana in Rome, standing in front of the main altar, which has the original icon of our mother of perpetual help. I wish to reflect with you today on the symphony, the array of colors and their deep significance for us to appreciate the gift, the greatest gift of our salvation and redemption in Jesus, Son of Mary, our mother of perpetual help. If you notice over these days, I have been using the word icon. And that's what this is. It's not a picture. Oh, it's not just any painting. The word icon is a very special word in Greek theology, in Greek art. Going back to the early church, the word icon, Greek word meaning image, was used for Jesus. He was the image of God. St. Paul in the letter to the Colossians says, He is the image of God. In other words, the invisible God was made visible in Jesus. Gradually, the Christians use the word icon for every baptized Christian. Every baptized Christian was called to be an image of Jesus through the Spirit dwelling within him or her. Icon painting was a special art form for prayer, reflection, meditation, for Christian life and faith itself in the Eastern Church. The artist never known, because icons are never signed by the painter, would have spent months in prayer, reflection, contemplation, fast and mortification in order to seek inspiration to bring out the mystery being presented. To come in the presence of an icon meant to come into the presence of God. Now, in Christian art and the Greek tradition, there are four types of icons of our Blessed Mother. First, there's the icon called the Theotokos icon, Mary, Mother of God. Mary, with her arms extended, has Jesus in seated position at the level of her womb. Then there is the Elusa icon, the icon of tenderness or mercy, normally Jesus' cheek touching Mary's cheek, a picture of tenderness, of mercy. Then there's the Dasis icon, Mary's arms extended in this gesture of intercessory prayer. Mary as the queen of intercessors praying for us. And finally, the fourth type of icon, the Hodegetria icon, or the icon of the way, where Mary points to Jesus. She is the signpost to Jesus, who is the way the hope, the life of the Father. Our icon of our mother of perpetual health is a Hodegetria icon. Why do I say this? At the very geometrical center of the icon are the hands of Mary and the hand of Jesus. Jesus' hand very gently rests in the hand of his mother. There's the connection. Mother of God 
Son of God, Son of Mary, the connection in the hands united. Her hand at the same time points to him. If you look at the direction of the hand, it points to Jesus. So Mary, her eyes meet your eyes and mine. And she basically says, look to my son, turn to my son. He is the way to the Father. He is the truth of the Father. He is the life of the Father. I said yes to the Father for him. And she offers him to us so that we might find our way, our truth, our life in Jesus who takes us to the Father. That's the mystery that the icon painter wanted to bring out for us in this symphony of colors. Gold that bathes the icon. This is the work of the Spirit. The aquamarine blue covering Mary in that mantle of obedience and fidelity of her universal motherhood. Offering Jesus in green the gift of life and hope for us. Offering Jesus, Son of Man, Son of Mary, in brown, one like you and me. The work of the Spirit that unites Mary and Jesus to God through the Spirit of love and sacrifice. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? That is redemption. That's what the icon painter brought out for us. This is heaven, your salvation and my salvation. This is joy. And you and I are privileged on this last day to taste a little bit of heaven here and now. And so we come as we've been coming every day with our worries, our fears, our troubles, our difficulties, our petitions, but with our faith in gratitude for the gift of salvation that Mary's, Mary offers us in and through Jesus, her Son, who is our hope and our life. I invite you today to take a few moments on this last day of the Novena to spend some time in awe and contemplation, in prayer. Let Mary's eyes from the icon picture that you have in your home draw you to gaze at her son, who is our hope and life always, our mother of perpetual health, giving us the gift and grace of Jesus, our Redeemer.
I invite you now to pray with me our Novena Prayer. O Mother of Perpetual Help, you are both rich and generous. You plead for all the gifts that God grants to us. You are the Mother of Hope for all sinners. Come then, dear Mother, for we turn to you. In your hands is Jesus, our salvation. We too are in your hands. We are your children. Take care of us, dear mother. For if you do, there is nothing to fear. From Christ, you plead for the forgiveness of our sins. With Christ, you are more powerful than all hell combined. With you on our side, we look forward to meeting our Redeemer, Jesus, your Son and our Brother. Our only fear is that in time of temptation, we may fail to call on you and become lost children. Obtain for us then, through your powerful intercession, the pardon of our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of Perpetual Help. I invite you now to pray for your intentions, your petitions, through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us pray together. Mother of Perpetual Help, Woman of Eternal Hope, your wordless gaze tells us so much about you. Knowing eyes look upon us with tender love. The slight bend of your head reveals such maternal concern. While your left hand supports the child, your right hand is ready to receive us too. Just as he feels the beating of your heart, so you encourage us to lead a life of hope and holiness. Just as his sandal will fall in your lap, through your intercession, may God pick us up as we stumble and fall. Never let us be parted from you and your Son, Jesus. Lady of Love, you invite us to place our hand where his fingers touch yours, near a heart of endless hope, so that we may be united often in prayer here on earth and join forever with you in heaven. Amen. Let us now unite with the Christians of all ages in praising Mary and in committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate, as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask through you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus met with 